So today's gonna be like my first full day on the potato cleanse. I just woke up not that long ago. Um, it's basically 10 o'clock at night and I'm hungry. So I'm gonna make some potato fries, which this is like the bag of potatoes I got. I've got some bigger ones. I've got some smaller ones. Yeah, that's not a good example got some sprouty ones <laughs> um that's why i peel mine if they don't have sprouts on them i don't usually peel them i just rinse them but the potatoes i got this time aren't really a good batch so i've been peeling them um trying to figure out what i want to put on top of these because oh here we go yeah oh wait no that reminds me of something weird this one no Maybe this one. And what I want to put on there is garlic salt and seasonal, but that's just straight um, salt. Here we go. A little bit of minced onion, I guess. And then I'll just dip them. I like potato fries plain too, so it's not a big deal. But. I don't even know if that's going to taste good, but we'll try it. So I'm not cooking directly on the rack because um, I put some seasoning on it. Usually I do, but I also ordered the racks that Hannah and Derek use. They're only like eight bucks. That way it's easier. You can put your seasoning and then it's not going to stick to the inside of your oven. It just sticks to the racks, which you can clean really easily. So gonna make that and I think I'm gonna break out one of my other Christmas gifts that my mom got me and use this to slice up some um, what was I gonna make onion mushroom carrot I think mixture as like a side Josh is getting ready to leave for work, he's eating some toast. And I am about to try this thing out, so. Okay, I think I chose the right kind, so. When you stick this to this, yeah. I need to hold this, so I'm just gonna set that right there. Why do they make everything look so easy on boxes? This is a bunch of bullshit. It like... Ugh. So I put a whole big old thing of mushrooms in here. I chopped them up. I put three organic squash that I got from the store for 99 cents and then um, one onion. I'm not eating all of that. I'm just making it because the mushrooms were going bad. I got them on a discount. So I'm making all of that and then whatever I don't eat I'm gonna make into a kind of gravy for tomorrow for um, mashed potatoes and gravy, so. And my fries are almost done. Oh, and this is a mix of ketchup and sweet chili sauce, because yum. Now I'm gonna to attempt to make this cheese sauce I saw on the potato cleanse thing. Um, I don't really measure stuff. There's just a shit ton of potatoes and carrots in there, basically. I'm cooking more fries and then I believe once this is soft that I'm going to blend it and add nutritional yeast, salt, and some other stuff. It's supposed to taste kind of cheesy, so we will see. So it looks like nacho cheese sauce, but it doesn't really taste like it. It tastes good. Oh, yeah. So I still had some potatoes and carrots left in here, so I added a no salt veggie um, bowling cube from Rapunzel and I added some what else did I add? Oh, I added the rest of my mushrooms that I had an onion and then some cabbage mix you can't ever go wrong with having just soup laying around 
and literally when you just throw things together it tastes good oh, my fries are almost done i'm gonna dip it in this beautiful sauce the green onion let this guy cool down we'll put that in the fridge the fries need to hurry up though i'm hungry look at that oh so that soup is finished there's probably like a whopping 50 calories in this right here <laughs> um I just kind of wanted something warm. I'm going to eat this. I'm probably going to take a small nap. Probably eat some more soup when I get up. I might have maybe some more, um, maybe like two more potatoes before I go to work. And I'll eat a salad at work like I always do. Come home. Eat more potatoes. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be eating like a whopping probably 2,500 calories in potatoes a day. Which is whatever, you know. Because when you work, you're hungry. So I'm going to eat this. I ended up finishing that soup. And I know I'm going to be hungry before work. So I'm actually going to pre-make um, Hannah's recipe for the... I'm going to cook in advance the little hash brown patties. So I don't even know if this is going to work. Let's try it. Josh is making nachos with my potato cheese sauce. That's what that is. So I think he has chips, S&W chili beans, the potato cheese sauce, salsa, and tofu sour cream. And a beer. <laughs> it smells really good. So I'm making those hash browns right now. The patties are in here. Cooking. We'll see how those turn out because they seem really watery. Plus, I don't have a lot of seasonings. I need to buy more, um, like, chopped granulated onion and stuff. Because I don't have any of that. I used the last of my onion flakes. And I just have a bunch of Mrs. Dash. And this one kind of grosses me out. I like this one. This one's too hot. This one I like to use for, like, tofu. And then this one I'm not a huge fan of. It tastes like nachos. Does it taste like nacho cheese? Yeah. <laughs> what it is is that it's because it's mixed with Mix the everything. other stuff. I'm not even sure how these turned out because they still feel kind of mushy, but I took the smallest one out to try it. The other ones are still in the oven, so let's see what we have here. It's good, but it's almost like the potato's not 100% done. So I think leaving them in a little bit longer, it's got four more minutes, I think it'll help. But they taste good. They're just not 100% done. So that's it until I wake up for my shift at work. So see you guys on the next day.